In this demonstration, we're going to look at creating a global condition and also as well creating a requirement from that condition. The condition itself just specifies a value to test against and the requirement will then specify a value that we need to do the test. So for example, the global condition could be Internet Explorer version and then the requirement could be install application only if the value of the version equals, for example, version 9. First thing we need to do is create the global condition. So to do that, we come to the software library workspace in our system center configuration manager admin console. We've gone to application management node, we'll come to global conditions, we'll right click and we'll create a global condition. This will bring us into a wizard. So what we're going to do here is we're going to specify the registry value that I want this global condition to test. So we'll browse through. We're going to look for software under HK local machine, Microsoft. We're then going to look for Internet Explorer. So if we find Internet Explorer, then what we want to do for the registry value is we want to specify version. What we'll then do is we'll select OK. I'll just change the name, so I'll change this to Internet Explorer version. And then what we'll do is we'll select OK. And now what we've done is we've created our condition. Next thing we need to do is based off that global condition is we'll need to create a requirement. And in order to do that, I'm going to create that requirement for an application. So I'll just come to applications and application management. I'll go for my Excel viewer and we'll come to properties. Then what we'll do in properties, we'll come for deployment types. And then what we'll do below here is we'll come for our Office Excel viewer. And then what we'll do at this point is we'll select edit. We'll click requirements and below requirements, we'll then select that. Then what we'll do here is in the case of our category, we'll just click on our little drop down. We'll go for custom. And then what we'll do is we'll just specify our Internet Explorer version. And then what we need to do is we just need to type in the value within our value for Internet Explorer 9. Then at this point here, we select OK. We select OK again. And now what we've done is we've now created that requirement. That's the end of this demonstration. Thank you.